Yo, everyone, Ernest here. What's up? How are we doing? We are back. Did we ever leave? Look at the shit we found. Look, we were at the Black Hole Forge. We figured out that that's where they make the warp cores and all of that. And they made an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin Project. And I think it's there, right? What are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, and that taught us that you don't need to be, like, what, exactly in line with the planet? You've got a little bit of leeway, maybe? Something like that? Now, this is the big one here. Ash Twin Project. We have an idea, a plan, a theory, a whatever. Basically, I think, from here, you know what? We should start flying, shouldn't we? Hold that thought for just one brief moment. Out into orbit. We want you. Oh, wait. Do we trust? Have you got this? So we're going into... We trust. We trust, right? We're trusting. Okay. Uh, yeah, we think that we can go to the Ash Twin Project, potentially from a teleporter bit here. We're going to try. There were two that we come across, right? There was... There was one that looked like, well, I feel like it was going to take us to Timber Hearth. So I want to check that one out. But I also want to check out the um, the one on here that looked like it ported us to... Oh, ow. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, it looked like it teleported us to... What are you? What on earth? Is this like a... And a light. Oh my god, can we land? Oh. Can we land properly, please? Hold on. There's too too much going on here. Dude. Really? There we go. Anyway. Um <laughs> Where's that gone? Up there. We're just gonna we're gonna just check this out for a moment. God, there's so much I don't know. Okay. This planet sometimes has a moon. We know about the moon. Disappears. Yeah. Found your note. Uh, count me in amongst the moon's admirers. Yes. We know about that. I believe so. But not only does the moon appear around Bristol Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth. <clears throat> it goes everywhere, dude. We know this shit. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of a macroscopic quantum mechanics. Yeah. Our first step would be determining a method to track it. Okay. Well... I don't know how to track it, but we know how to find it, right? Ret oh, does this find it? Oh, wow. Do you align? No way. Do you... That's really cool. It's going to align. Wait, do I need to... Oh, look, there's a point. Oh, that's too cool. So there will be a point where they all line up together, right? I wonder what that does. Every time I load this game up, it hits me with something that I wasn't expecting at all. Yo, you are going nuts, bro. Oh, that is the moon, isn't it? So what, are you tracking it? Oh, you are tracking it. But if we look away... That's really cool. There's quite a few aligned. Anyway, I feel like this probably could have been useful a while ago. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. Clearly, the Nomo were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? The moon, bro. I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut translators tool would be very handy to have about now. Oh, of course, they can't translate anything. Dude, they know nothing. We know a bit more. Yeah, I, got, I mean, that that's obviously given us hints about the quantum moon, right? But we've kind of, we've kind of been there and we've kind of met a Nomai that's like in, I don't know, what, suspended animation? Now that's a zombie. Either way, we met them, all right, and we chatted to them, kind of. We want to go here. We want to try that teleporter to the Ember Twin because our theory is that we use it when the planet is aligning but they're already kind of aligned so the only thing i can think of is if we 
stand on it when the sandfall passes overhead, which it does go overhead of where where we want to check out, which makes me think, you know, there's something going on there. It should be this side, I think. You're over here? Where you're hiding, friend? We're coming for you, and we know that you teleport us somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay. These, here. And I feel like we're here a little bit too early. But that's okay, it gives us a bit of time, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Ooh, I'm very aware this is a daft place to park. You know what, we should... <laughs> yeah, let's not park it on the route. Let's park it just next to it. That one's broken and covered by sand at the moment. This one... That one isn't broken. Hmm. We know about that scroll. That's fine. I feel like we just got to kind of wait here. Let's just take a lovely moment to watch this giant ball of fire get closer and closer to destroying everything. Man, I hope Asen doesn't do that. What are you? Woo! I don't watch the sky enough, you know. There's some weird things going on around here. And we still need to figure out what that probe was that we just, you know, died while trying to land on. And there's also, oh goodness me, let's get in here for a minute. I don't know what, there's a red thing, right? Look at that. I can't, you can't even, how do I, oh, zooming out. That, what are you, you know? We've got to find that out as well, which we should do. And that's got to have very particular timing. I imagine, because it looks like it's traveling so quickly. Oh, you can even see the moon on here now. Could we always see that? I don't know. Oh no, did we miss that? Oh, I hope not. Okay, that one is pulsating inwards, right? And looks functional. This one, also pulsating inwards and looks broken. So maybe, should we try, let's... Let's try the, the one that looks functional. And where, you know what though? They were heading, is that a hint? They were obviously heading this way with a little block. This is definitely the best spot to look at the sun, isn't it? Well, apart from the sun station, <laughs> going around it. Where are you? Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's coming quicker than I anticipated. Okay, you know what? Change of plan. Let's try the one where the Nomai is running towards, yeah? I don't know. We'll try them both anyway. We're ready for you. Do the warpy thing. Please. Or is that just going to carry us out into space and... Here we go. I'm ready for nothing. Looking up. We've got sucked through. Epic fail. We flipped. Okay. Ow. Okay, worth a shot. We tried. Now we will try the other one, I guess. I'm a bit saddened by that. I thought something cool was going to happen. Oh, look where we've landed. Oh, we did that well, didn't we? <laughs> oh, we've got to wait for a whole rotation now. How quickly do you go? To be fair, that's pretty quick. Hopefully you don't stop before we get back there. I guess we kind of deserve that. We shouldn't have tried the broken one, really, should we? What do we expect? Okay, should be zipping around this way. Oh, soon. There you are. Oh no, is it going to come to an end before we get to it? Wait, does that even matter? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try. Probably should have tried the functional one first. <laughs> do you work? Teleporter thingy. If you don't, then I don't really know what to do. Do the warp thing. No? Oh, shit. Okay. Why did I expect to do Charge time. Slightly before. Charge. Activate return war. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I guess that did just take us to back over to that planet. And the Ember Twin, right? Which is, guess what we expected. Then where do you go? 
Okay, I'm quite confused now. Oh, wait. Do we do it when it doesn't have sand to pull us up with? So that one works and will just take us back. The broken tower, it does have a functional warp thing. But what do you do? And you were going to it for whatever reason. Okay, fine. Right, where... Where's the ember twin? Okay, you've, you're returning. Ah, you've changed the way you're going. Right, broken one. Wait, is it giving the sand back now? Oh, maybe that's got something to do with it. That would make sense, right? I guess. I don't know anymore, man. Oh, our ship's gone over there. No, you don't do anything. Hmm. Oh. Okay, we need to check out our log then see what is going on. Ash Twin Towers, right. Hmm. Those towers were built for the Ash Twin Project. Yeah, look at that tower. That is something there. It is. Each tower. Yeah, look, you can travel around to places crucial to the Ash Twin Project. Hmm. But how do we get there? I really thought there's got to be more here. Right, we're not giving up. We are going to uh, go back. I just can't accept. Oh, back to these. There's something we're not figuring out here. How do we block? Maybe I stay like that side of it so it can't. If I go there, can it pull me up? I don't know. We don't want to get pulled up. We want to get pushed down, right? That's the point. Oh, I don't know. I'll try and stay. I won't. I'll try and stop it from pulling us away. Right? No. No, I don't get it. Oh, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Right. I am not convinced. There is something. There's something we're missing there. We're going to go back. I'm going to keep looking. There is no way that that pad is just like... Oh, blinking away and is unex inaccessible. Like, I don't, I don't know. And that's definitely the Ash Twin Project teleportation thingy. I mean, if it's part of Ash Twin Project, it's the whole reason why they've set up, goodness me, we don't have long, why they've set up this whole system. It's got to be the way in. Like, it wouldn't make sense for it not to be the way in. Right. Right, that's broken. That takes us to the other one. If we get pulled up by the sand, do we... Can we wait? Oh, I don't know. Can we wait for it here for a minute? I guess that'll block it. Maybe, and then we run in and look up after it's passed because... Oh, because of the degree thing. Oh, we've got time then. Um, okay. 200 IQ move, right? So... This passes overhead. Do we go now? Nah. No, too soon, you idiots! No, I didn't mean to do it like that. Oh, I've missed it. I should have. Ow! <laughs> we should have waited. I got too keen. Did we just reset the loop? I don't know now. Did we get one more go? Maybe we do. Yeah. Well, I don't know how long we've got left on this one. But hopefully we've got time for one more go. Oh no, the music's here. Oh, how long? I really should know how long we have at this point. That's looking pretty angry, man. Oh, we're going to be the first to go. Hello. Man, it's like Zelda, isn't it? With the moon. Majora's Mask. The moon is getting closer and closer to Clock Town. Where are you, Ember Twin? Please, we just want to have a little look-see before the loop ends, okay? Oh no, we're not going to have time, are we? No. Maybe we can only do it at the end. You warp us? Oh. I don't know. Part of me thought we were about to warp then. Well, I'm going back. 
We've got to. It's the only way. Oh, we're going to try and wait until the the sand, the pillar of sand kind of passes over a little bit. And we're going to hope that that five degree thing that we learned is the very reason. Like, that's got to be why. That's got to be the hint, hasn't it? Suit up, baby. And off we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ash Twin Project, we are going to find you. Because you're on there somewhere in the middle of this planet or the ember no because in the middle of the ember twin is the high energy lab isn't it we know that so it's got to be in the middle of this lovely dust ball in the meantime then we can check out this bit again while we're waiting for a bit of the sand to drain what have we missed here what do you need to tell us here Oh, there's a scroll here. That'd probably be it. You there, take you, you go down there, you go in there. Quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona, but I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem. Dude, sixth location, man. It's also possible there exists a sixth location. Yeah. With keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. No, 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 no. It goes to one more. Oof. All right. All right. All right. Get in. Oh, we're caught, <laughs> we're caught in the groove. There we go. Yeah, I'd love to pinpoint where that sixth location is, you know, just to see it. But I guess we've got the coordinates for the eye, haven't we? Oh, goodness me. Where are, where's the ash twin gone? There you are. We have the coordinates for the eye. We have the vessel to get us to the eye but we need the warp core to power it the advanced warp core because the one in the vessel is broken so dare i say oh and we know the warp core is out inside the ash twin project so if we get in there and i take that vessel no the warp core to the vessel and we've got the coordinates because we found them in giant steep does that mean we've done it? But I still don't know the loop scenario, like why it's on a, a 22 minute loop. I, I know why, or we know why, but the point in it, I'm not sure. I guess we, maybe we'll find that out. I don't know. Any who, I feel like, are we about to complete it? Are we getting close now? I don't know. I don't know. This is draining by the second. Which do you think is the most beautiful planet? I've been thinking about it as we've been playing through. And I'm really not sure. I am loving this relationship between the Ash and the Ember Twin. I think it's great. So having like a dual planet working kind of in sync with each other is pretty darn cool. But I do also love Giant Steel. Oh, goodbye ship. Or please get, like, at least pulled onto that orbit and not just ripped away. No, we're good, we're good. That's definitely going to smash it up, though. Goodbye, ship. Oh, no. Stay in the orbit. It's not going to stay, is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> please, don't go into the sun. Maybe this is the most beautiful planet. The views you get are incredible. Dark Bramble is not... Giant Steep is pretty special, do admit. What else we got? Brittle Hollow is... It's got that wow factor, hasn't it? Because of the giant black hole in the middle, which is quite incredible. What else do we have? Timber Hearth, to be fair, we still need to check out what's going on there a little bit more. But it's kind of like Earth, isn't it? I'm not that bothered. Um, White Hole, we know that they made that. Yeah, Giant Steep is cool. Dark Bramble is yucky and evil. Quantum Moon, does that count? It's too freaky for my liking. The Interloper, 
you've got some very worrying things inside of you ghost matter or whatever and we think you've smashed into the sun which blows it up this is oh i see you there this is the one that we think well we don't know where it goes okay the plan we stay under this here we go this passes by but we're gonna wait until it just goes past wait for it wait for it now no i don't get it is there like okay next theory being is there a part inside of there like the eye like the eye of a storm that like doesn't pull you up do you know what i mean like the very very oh like the very middle of it we need to check it out oh ow 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 okay did not enjoy that at all <laughs> ship where are you we need a band-aid <gasps> no not again dodge it dodge it Evasive maneuver. Ah. Oh. I'm not impressed with that. Oh, this is proving trickier than I anticipated. What is going on? Maybe we're just wrong. I refuse to admit it though. I think we're missing a trick. There's got to be... Okay. Next theory. Just like... I don't know. The, wall put, the whirlpools of Giant's Deep. Maybe there's a section in it and you know what while the universe gets ready for us we'll see if we can get to that probe if that is the probe thing that we looked at and just died it's got to be it's very blue isn't it it's not that far away we'll check this out quickly and we'll try and maybe get into the middle of it i don't know if that's a thing or not what are you doesn't seem like there's anything we can do with it do you find the eye? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, it was lovely seeing you. Let's get back to business. My God, did we travel a far way out. And those mines as well. I think what we'll do... There was... I think there was a teleporter on the Ember Twin for Timber Hearth as well, right? The one we looked at a couple episodes back. So maybe we try that as well. If this one fails, we'll do that as a plan B. But I'm going to try and maybe get... Let the let the sand wall kind of pass us over. And then when we get into, like, the middle of it, maybe that'll do it. I don't know. Because if it's got to... If it's got to be within five degrees, maybe we were pushing it a little bit with waiting too long. So the teleporter will work if we're in the middle, which we will find out gonna run in the middle we've tried before we've tried after now we're gonna try in the middle and if that still doesn't do it then i might have to resort to google <laughs> i don't know but i really don't want to we've been really good so far and i don't know i feel the pressures of a recorded playthrough and not coming up with the goods you know like this is this is a new type of pressure for me. Usually, I, I'm happy to just stare at something for an hour and be like, hmm, how do we do this then? But now I'm like, you know, you're not going to watch. You're going to leave me if I don't figure it out. And I'm like, fuck, I need to do it. I need to bring you home the bacon or the vegan bacon. If you're veggie or vegan. Right. Crash, crash, crash. That's not what we want. We want the towers. We know that they're in line with you. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Are you passing over them right now? Yes, you are. Look at our timing. Right, the next pass through, we're going to go right through the middle. The bridge is here for a reason. I know you are. Everything in this game is here for a reason. And I'm now really respecting that. They've thought about it. And yeah, I need to think about it as well. I can't just run around and expect it all to fall into place, you know. Come on, Bridge. Come on. I'm going to let it pass through. Right in the middle. Bam. Into the damaged one. 
try that. If that still fails, then we'll go on the Timber Hearth one and see if maybe the mines there reveal any more, like another hint to how this pad works. I mean, it's got a... I feel like we've kind of got everything from here to make it work, though. Right, broken one. That's you. Yep. Okay. We're going to go through the middle. When it's in the middle, we're going to run. That's what we're going to do. In... Three... Two... One... Go, 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 go. Oh, I did it! Are you kidding? Dude! What? Where are we? Are we... Are we in the mi- Are we in the middle? Of the Ash Twin? No way, the masks we're here! What are we not? Oh, goodbye ship. Eight minutes, ten seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Oh, that was that. <laughs> oh, that's death. Probe tracking module. Giant steep memory. Sta statue, timber hearth memory statue. Very good, very good. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. You're broken. You're working. Wait, was that how many modules were working? Giant Steep. That, yeah, because, what was his name? Gabro can remember. We can remember, Timber Hearth. And the tracking, the probe tracking module. I guess one of, one of those, is it? I, I'm not sure. Okay, we don't have long. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. <laughs> what? We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We need to keep our eye on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I can still hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now, Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Plox is sculpting the memory statues. It's all falling together. It was not by accident the core of our planet warp tower was the last to be forged. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for medi mediating your disagreements, okay? Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well. Hmm, Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from the device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding that, too, it's likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Dude! Blox and Daz finished the memory statues today and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin, Ash Twin project succeeds, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pa and Adir have worked hard on the sun station and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ashtrin project requires. Oh my God, it needs it to go supernova. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task. We are nearly ready to activate the Ashtrin project. Here is what will happen. The first, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data back from this cannon launch. What? In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes and can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate the power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. Oh my god, I get it. Okay. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Do not lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its own natural timeline if you prefer, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashtrin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Oh my god, they were ready, but they couldn't... We're only doing it because the sun has 
naturally exploded, powering everything. Oh my... Oh, so good! While halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment, a comet has newly arrived in our solar system when we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. The interloper. Oh my god, there's stuff here. Brittle hollow projection stone. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, she will have finished as well. We've read this, right? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and our design work is beautifully clever. Bloop. Bloop. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, Neo, this ore should be the last we need for the Ash Twin project. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check? specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Would be grateful if you would, the more eyes the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashwin project could lead to disaster. Oh my god, there's so much information. I've installed the masks inside the Ashwin project blocks, they look beautiful. Yep, we know about that. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashton project, the statues will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible for us to remain permanently unaware. I hadn't thought of that. What a horrific fate that would be. Artificial gravity control? Oh. Okay, let's put that back for a moment. There we go. What are you? You're about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. Oh my god. Hold on. If we do that, will we die? Like, properly? Can we take you? Oh wow, that looks amazing. Wait a minute. Do we need to take this? 11 minutes, is that long enough? Do we take this to the, the vessel? We've got the coordinates. Oh! Dude, we gotta go. Can we port with this? Oh my god, we've got it. Where's our ship? Right there! Wait, do we go to the Brittle Hollow now? I can't remember how to get to the vessel. I'm scared. I think we're gonna break everything. It's the distress beacon we need. Let's do it. Oh my god, I'm excited. You? Fish, we don't have time for you right now. We've gotta get to that vessel. Okay. Ow. Inside here, right? No, you're not. Are you the vessel? I'm confused. No, wait, this isn't. No, this isn't the way. We need to launch our scout through here to find it. Oh, come on. We've got fuel. We're fine. We can do this. We can get back to the ship. Oh, my poor Namai. We are going to figure this out for you. Right. This is what we need to go. Now we need to get to our ship. Yes, that's what we want! Oh my god, I remember now. Do we have time? Please tell me we're about to get to the eye of the universe. Refuel. Let's go. 1.2. 1.2. I think it was the one in the orange. This is where Fish City is, right? We don't have time to be scared of you right now. We've got shit to do. 
got a warp core. I mean, I'm so confident this is what we do. I hope I'm not missing anything out. I know we haven't explored absolutely everything, but... I don't know. We've just got it, and we've got to put it in the machine, right? Because we've got the coordinates. We've got the stuff. Should we go for it? There's vines over there. We could evade. Let's go. We don't have time to be scared of fish. We've got a vessel to find. Here you are. So can we warp away in this? We're refueled. We remember how to get in this time. The music is different. You go in here. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude, match velocity. Whoa. Are you okay? Do you go on? Let me put you around here. Oh, no, not you again. Oh, wait. We know this. That goes like... That. And then there. Right? And then this one goes... Down to there. Up. That way. Oh, my God. If this is it that way and then this one goes that to that that to the bottom right that way there that's it there are the coordinates right now we take you to there No? Oh. Did we do it? 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 Oh my god, it's Abby. Flashlight check. Are we here? Can we leave? The moon is orbiting it. And now it's gone. Are we? We're here. Oh, gravity is heavy. Oh, I get it. The moon looked like this, didn't it? When we were at the, well, this location. Should we go to the South Pole, maybe? Whoa. Whoa. we go into that? That's going to be too much for our mind to comprehend. I mean, look at it. It sounds kind of angry, you know. Oh. It's... Oh, this is scary. If we get hit by lightning or a, a rogue quantum rock what are you I don't want to keep going forward oh that's what it looked like on the moon the reflection of it hello what It's hollow. 
I didn't expect that. Should we jump into the eye of it? Can we do that? Oh, wow. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> we made it across. No, no. Let's go in. forgot to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Outer Worlds Ventures was founded by Felspar, Gossen, Slate and Hornfells to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and exploded in a violent supernova. Of all life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish at least. We won't or will? We will? <laughs> I don't know about that. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived bringing with it its deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system. Yeah. Ooh. What? Oh my god, if you could see my face right now. What? Where are we? this every time a little solar system decided to go supernova? I don't want them to go. It's dark. Where have the trees gone? What the hell? Okay. <gasps> it's us. Wait, what? Gonna make me jump, I know it. Ah. Oh. Just how we started. Oh. That was not there before. 
<laughs> Eska. Do you hear music? Yeah. How do we get in? A lone banjo. Hey buddy, have you come to check out the end with me? Oh, wait, it wasn't this built up before, was it? Of course. No game would be complete without Rico coming to crash the party right at the end. Come on, buddy, we're trying to find out how to get in here. Uh, we'll try and finish this game while this little pest is here. I need to start shutting my door on you, don't I? <laughs> don't? Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me put him on our lap. Come on, then. Here we go. back. It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we need the others, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. Oh, we've got to go get everyone. We can do that. Ah, oh, there you are. Two down, Rico. Two down. Wait, who's that? It's kind of creepy, you know. Quiet shade. The old bark in the ancient glade. It's always dark. Ha! <laughs> it's so pretty. But cuts out when we get too close. Come on, Felspar, we need you, bro. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> that totally had me, dude! <laughs> Screw you, game! Screw you! Oh, that got me good. Okay. Are we all here? The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star is what ultimately killed us. Wait, I'll wait here. And remember them while you gather everybody. Aren't you forgetting someone? Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Solenum shuttle? To the quantum moon? What is going on?
Hey, of course we need them. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yeah. This song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Ah. Oh. What do you say, buddy? Ready to start the music? Yeah! This should be cool. Come on, Felspar, get your old harmonica out, bro. Eska, start whistling. Ja, bang the drum, little egg boy. Right back, finish it off, dude. <laughs> What's happening? going on Rico do you have to be a pain in the butt at the finale of the game you have to do we jump into it no do it This is too epic! I don't get it. <laughs> what was the eye of the universe then? Oh, we got some research to do, but we found it, right? Oh my God. Shout out to my boys who tagged along for the journey. You know who you are. Definitely wouldn't have got to the end without you. <laughs> and thank you for joining me on an amazing playthrough. That's probably one of my favorite games ever. And the amazing people who made this game, you kind of rock. Especially you, Ian Jacobson. Actually, the concept artist, yeah, dude. Freak me. Another one in the bag. Thanks, all. Can't believe it. I'm going to take a moment to reflect on this. And whew, we need to tie up a few loose ends, I think. But wow. And we'll, of course, be back with the DLC, maybe. Probably. Definitely. Yeah. I'm going to go take a little breather. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'll see you on the next one, I guess. Hopefully. Own 8 out.